It's September 9th. It's time for Watch a Weekly. Welcome to Watch a Weekly, presented by Breather, a show where we kick back, chat, and answer your guys' questions to the best of our ability. <sighs> yes, that's always right. Just... <laughs> oh, sorry. I always try to steal your line and uh, never successful. Well, you were too slow. As always, if you'd like to submit questions for this show, swing on by the same tab. Or uh, we are watcher, we are watcher, we are watcher. Uh, Patreon.com slash watcher. Facebook.com slash watcher entertainment. Twitter.com slash watcher podcast. We are watcher. I like the energy that hat's bringing. It's a I, good energy. I, I realized I was sort of halfway to dressing like Alan Grant today, and then I went I was all just in. about to say, but a better character. You know who I'm talking about. You're talking about Owen Grady. No, what? Oh, shit. Huh? That's oh. self burn on your part. I, <laughs> I thought you were going to go the burn route. Today, we're going to be doing a segment about a certain generation of people that I am not very familiar with. The greatest generation? Is it the greatest? I think they are. Tom Brokaw? Are we doing a segment about Tom yeah. Brokaw? Who's who's the self-proclaimed greatest generation? The fucking the baby, baby boomers. boomers. Are they? Unbelievable. Yeah. They're the self-proclaimed greatest I see. generation. This one is uh, Gen Z. And Gen Xers, they're over here like, huh. and then millennials are over here like, ah. and then Gen Z's like, <laughs> you know? if there's one generation I do have a bone to pick with, it's probably X. They're sideline sitters, that's what they are. Yeah. Is X baby boomers? No. No, X is after baby boomers. It's like, okay. X I always just think of Ben Stiller. X is that generation that kind of, for whatever reason, doesn't get any flack. They kind of just sit on the sidelines and watch all the rest of us fight with each other, which now that I say that aloud, maybe they are pretty chill for that. Uh, I think they're chill. They're just very apathetic. I think they're pretty politically involved, but they just not necessarily vocally. Gen Z, though, by far the funniest generation that's ever been. Funny folks, you know, funny folks in all generations, except for some of them. Anyway, what? how you guys been, huh? What's... <laughs> So anyways, there's an intro uh, that we're making here. We're going to try our best to decode Gen Z slang. I have a feeling that Shane is gonna win this segment. I don't know about that. Did you guys cook up this segment when I was on vacation? Yes. <laughs> I think, Shane, you actually might have the upper hand here despite being the elder statesman of Watcher. You're the most active on Twitter. So I'm, I love Twitter. Twitter's my home. I love to tweet about stuff and I love to like tweets and read tweets and respond to tweets. Love them. Sometimes I tweet while we shoot. I've seen it happen. I don't care. What just came out? Oh, the Olympics episode of Puppet History, which boy, oh boy. Ooh, what a race. What a race. Kristen Chirico, who has been such a vocal fan of season one, she messaged me at some point and was like, let me be on your puppet show. And I was <laughs> like, absolutely, stop on by. She was like, hey, Shane, I really want one of those Puppet History trophies. And Shane said, uh, let me talk to the professor. And the professor said, oh, all you have to do is come on the show. You automatically get it. I yeah, um, uh, I can't speak for the scoring system there. I know it's not just a matter of numeric systems. Yeah, it's not just algebra, Ryan. It's calculus. Well, if you're in contact with him because he's ghosting me, he's not returning my calls or texts, you tell that little blue shyster that I'm onto him. And look, I'm a fan. I have him on my chest here. You do. That's very sweet. I'm this, not even. And that's why this hurts so much. Uh, yeah, I'll talk to him. But as far as I know, every win is legitimate, unfortunately. Um, I know that hurts uh, to hear. How much is he paying you? I I'll double it. I don't know. I don't think you could afford that. Uh, who's on this week's episode? Keith Habersberger, old our old pal Keith. Basically a human puppet, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean he sort of is, right? Uh, yeah. I love Keith. Keith was actually the first co-host of my show Worth It, actually. You know that? Yeah, we all we all drove to Vegas together. Shane was in the backseat. Uh, that's weird. I love me some Keith. So yeah, that's fun. If you haven't seen Keith's other stuff, if you're like, hey, who's Keith Habersberger? It's surprising that you know who we are. <laughs> Go to youtube.com slash try uh, Before we get to the meat of the episode, also a quick announcement. There's going to be some new Puppet History merch this week. Uh, some juicy stuff. I don't want to give yes, too yes, much yes. away, but some nice uh, tumblers, maybe? Uh, oh, no. Maybe a patch? Yeah. Keep your eyes peeled this Friday, watcherstore.com. Also, extremely important point of business for our <laughs> American viewers, it is September. The election is coming up in a couple months, so now is a great time, if you haven't yet, to make sure you're registered to vote. 
Obviously, this is a tricky year for voting because of all of the pandemic stuff going on and the continued uh, crippling of the U.S. Postal Service, which is uh, yes, 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 not great. Yes. We're going to drop some resources below, some links. Vote. Tell your friends to vote. Hit those links. Check the guidelines per state because they do vary state by state yeah. in terms of how you can vote. Let's get into questions, huh? Questions. Questions. Again, if you want to submit questions, go over to the C tab. We also accept our Patreon questions at patreon.com slash watcher. So first question comes from JT Media. For all, what is your favorite nickname you ever received? Hmm. My favorite nickname. What about, okay, two I know off the bat. Birgara and Berganja, baby. Uh, Bergy, people call me Bergy. All of them almost like, inevitably like involve my last name. Yeah, like, like Fergie. You call me Burgoo You've uh, to the E. Bergmeister. R. Oh, Beef Man. What about Beef Man? Yeah, Beef Man's not going to make the list. I think yeah, it makes you, the you, list for sure. <laughs> I saw someone post on Twitter. They were like, I love the founders of Watcher Entertainment, Shane Madej, Stephen Lim, <laughs> and Beef Man. <laughs> what are some good ones for me? I don't really oh, know. Oh, Long Legs, Bone Stilts. Bone Stilts is, uh, I think, one of the more inspired <laughs> ones, honestly. Who came up with Bone Stilts? Was that Ryan? Yeah, that's, that's a Bergara original. Roller Squatch was really fun. Uh, one I came up for myself was Noodle Man, because when I was at Disney World, I was concerned that people were going to be like, hey, you're from BuzzFeed, and I had a plan in action that I never really enforced, but I've always wanted to do this. If at some point someone's like, hey, are you Shane from BuzzFeed? Feet, I would just say, no, I'm the noodle man, and run away. Real noodly like. <laughs> Steven Lim. Slim Lim. Slim Shady. I mean, we all know what Steven's is. Big Apple Steve. What? Big Apple Steve. That's that's actually my least favorite one. Uh, my favorite one is probably just Slim. The Slim Reaper? Slim Reaper, that's good. I've heard all of these, by the way. Here's another, let's move on. Another question, the scan lands. For all, what shenanigans did y'all get involved in when you were high school? Shenanigans. Ooh, interesting. I don't mm. know any shenanigans. I once stole an owl from a bank. I'm sorry? I feel like most of my high school career shenanigans were mostly chalked up to shooting weird little movies with my friends. Oh, me yeah. too. Me too. I didn't really do too many crazy things in high school. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't super cool. We weren't like, let's go to a, a drug party. You know, <laughs> it wasn't euphoria. No, I didn't even. I didn't drink in high school. I didn't drink until college very much. You didn't drink anything? Huh? Not even water? I didn't even <laughs> drink water. <laughs> Shenanigans can also mean like like silly stuff you do with your friends. Like I think the the only shenanigans I would do is every now and then I would sneak off early to lunch. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Steven, you got any shenan shenanigans? I, I feel like there's a lot actually that we did. Not like illegal stuff. Like I think we one time my friend owned a Chinese restaurant, so we stole. We didn't steal. He took from the restaurant like a big box of. Fortune we took it without telling them and uh, we, uh, we borrowed them without bringing them back. The son of the owner took them. And then we also um, accidentally lit my friend's yard on fire. I think I what is with all the these like, oh, we, did, we didn't steal, we <laughs> took. And then we accidentally set my friend's lawn on fire. And then we wrote songs for each other, like really stupid songs. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, weird ass cult you're in here. <laughs> That's how I learned guitar was I just wrote songs for people. Oh, uh, very oh. bad songs. It's fun. All right, next question. Ryan, take it away. This comes from Jairo Vieda. Uh, when is Top 5 Beatdown coming back? I have watched the episodes and have loved every episode. My daughter and I are fans and enjoy the contact or contact content. <laughs> Shaniacs for life. It is going to come back. We don't know when at this point, but we do know it's going to come back. It's funny, that show is actually the favorite of most of my friends and family. It's a blast. That show is gonna come back at some point. I wonder what other topics there are. Can we talk about the one that I we really wanted to do in season one as a joke, but also as an actual episode? <laughs> Fruit. Oh yeah, fruit. Oh. Yeah, fruit would be very funny. Fruit is good. Or apples, I guess, in general. I could also just go a full apple bracket. I was gonna say we should break that into top five apples, not just ranking apples at large. <laughs> so just, many have, apples. just have a whole fruit season. Yeah, top five <laughs> apples. Apples is the only one you could really do that for. Yeah, that's there's really so many it. different uh, you could name do like brand apples. Tropical fruits. You could do like. That's true. But you can't mm. compare apples and oranges. You're right. That's yeah. a good joke, Steven. Yeah. I like that. Uh, here's a question from Calais and Art Mixwell. Who drew Hot Chef Sut in Puppet History's latest episode? It was a couple weeks ago. It was actually 
I wanted to mention this on here because there are a lot of depictions of Hot Shep Sut, but like they don't have like a really good uh, image of her out there. So I actually just found like a bunch of reference images and I begged my girlfriend, Sarah Rubin, to draw Hot Shep Sut for us. And she did, fun little fact there. Wow, I did not know that. That's yeah. super cool. The more you know. The more you know. Patch, this is a Patreon question. We'll be answering more of those on Watcher Weekly Plus over on patreon.com slash watcher. At what point in your current careers did you guys think, hey, I think this is what I want to do for the rest of my life? Have you guys ever thought that? Yes. I'm very much a, not that I don't think that, you know, I love the path that I'm on and I love to do what we're doing. I don't know that I've ever thought like, I'd like to be doing exactly this 20 years from now. Cause even like what we're doing now feels like it's changed a bit. Yeah, I kind of have on Shane's uh, wavelength here. I think it's more just like, I'm always feeling like, I'm just making it work right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of how I always feel. I'm never like, glad I got all this figured out. <laughs> yeah. It's more just like, holy shit, how is today gonna work? And then yeah, I go to I sleep and the next like... day I wake up and I go, holy shit, how is today gonna work? <laughs> yeah. Okay, segment time, segment time. Steven, set us up here. What's happening? Now is our segment time. And this came from a little inspiration from the fact that we, I believe, are part of the millennial generation. We are elderly is the we're, we're, uh, terminology, I believe, yes. Uh, so today we're gonna do an exploration onto Gen Z and Simone, our social media coordinator, has actually put together flashcards, if you will. Who of the three of us will be able to be the Gen Z champion? Whoa. AKA honorary Gen Z crowned by Brittany, who's on this call right now. I think my year is when we start Gen Z. See? Wow. So you're the elder statesman of, of Gen Z, I see. Of Gen Z. Yeah, but I feel old. I'm 23 now, but... Brittany. Okay. No. Are you guys ready? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, 23 is a, it's a wonderful age. You're gonna have a it's black. It's great, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's get into this. Let's hear some words. <laughs> We're all gonna look 80 years old when we guess what these are. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah, I mean, we can start easy. The first word is... Yeet. Classic. Yeet. Yeah, it's it's to um, chuck something. I think I feel like it's a very um, a flexible word because people can yeet out of a place. You can yeet something. I don't even like saying this. I feel like a <laughs> it's incredibly embarrassing just yeah. using any of this language. Shane even saying yeet makes me think of that Steve Buscemi picture of him with the yeah. backwards hat. <laughs> Wait, I, I actually did not know that's what yeet meant. I thought yeet okay. was like a uh, exclamation. I thought yeet was very much like an exclamatory phrase as well. <laughs> Some people say it when they like chuck something or or throw something a lot. Oh. Simone wrote great examples for each of these words. Oh, so I want to read yeah. them. <laughs> she said an example is, I would rather yeet myself into the sun if I had to be stuck in quarantine for another year. Well, so I'm already mm. one up on you guys here. Yeah, there mm. it is. What is what, so what is the actual definition of it? To discard an item at a high velocity. Whoa. Wow. Shame a day. I had no idea. This does not bode well for us. If Brittany said this is, uh, let's start off with an easy one and we yeah. won't go wrong. <laughs> do kids actually use this word? Like, do, do, do they say yeet? Yes, they do. All right, yeah. next word. I mean, okay. we're all, yeah. we got this. Yeah. Okay, you know. boomer. Look, it is ageist for sure. Granted, there are plenty of people in that generation who are not selfish pieces of shit. It is making a blanket statement about a generation at large, but it's usually only directed at the uh, a person from that generation who is saying something that's rather antiquated. Gotcha, gotcha, yes. okay. Yes, true, okay. true, true. Well, because boomer is just a fun way to end a sentence. It is, yeah, it's like, fun. Oh, that sounds like a fun party. That actually sounds like an old person talking about a party. Oh, it seems <laughs> like you and your friends had a real boomer this oh, week. Yeah. <laughs> Last night I couldn't get any damn sleep. There was a <laughs> boomer next door. Yeah, I can't get a real boomer going on. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, simp. I Googled this the other day. <laughs> <laughs> When this first hit the the scene, uh, it seemed like it had a lot of like very malleable definitions. There's the verb usage of it. There's the noun usage of it. I, I'm still, it seems pretty nebulous to me still. What's, what's your guys' take on it? It seems to me that uh, it's kind of like over infatuation to the point where you're doing things that are a bit too much yeah. towards either a romantic partner mm -hmm. or a, a person of interest. 
that you are uh, infatuated with. You know, you're not you're not looking out for your own personal well-being in favor of said partner. Uh, yes. Well, that's a very that's a very eloquent way of putting it. Us dissecting these were I, in the future when we do this, we need to have like a, a filter on that makes us all look like we're 90 years old. That's why we need to do <laughs> the baby filter, Shane. We should put the baby filter on. Actually. We should. Yeah. <laughs> Bad bleep. Is that Bad actually bleep. it, or are you censoring something there? It's actually. I got nothing on this. I think it's um, a sheet that's gone stray. Huh? Bad bleep. Uh, <laughs> I'm, that's all I got on this one. I actually have not seen this one out on Twitter. This might be the first time someone says something to me where I'm like, huh? All right, Brittany, what, what do we got? This term comes from a famous TikToker, Addison Rae, whenever she refuses to say a mean word. Oh. As the sort of reigning king of TikTok, I don't pay attention to a lot of the ecosystem below me, unfortunately. And some people <laughs> have rightly criticized me for that. I yeah. get it. As the king of TikTok, people are not gonna be 100% happy with the things that you do. You sound like a real man of the people. <laughs> I am, you know, for the most part, except that yeah. I don't pay attention to any of them. So it's been a big 2020 for me on TikTok. I don't, what in the okay, I don't know electric anymore. Electric chair? Okay, uh -oh, now this one. Please don't tell me this. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm worried. Ryan, do you know? <laughs> no, I don't know this one. That's why it's so funny to me. Because I honestly thought there'd be ones where I've like seen them and I'm like, I think I kind of know what that means. But to see two now where I'm like, what is uh, is crazy to me. Electric chair. Yeah, I don't get that. It's just a thing. Uh, I could see someone using that in conversation if someone makes a comment and you're like, electric chair. Like, you sh just shut the fuck up I feel up like and that's like not chill to say, maybe. Because that's referring usually to the capital punishment. I'm going to take a guess. I'm gonna take a guess. I think it's something where like, they're turning into a positive thing, which is like, wow, fire comment. Are you in the electric chair right now? <laughs> I'm gonna get it's a couple guesses be here. Here's, here's a couple guesses. One guess, uh, is it maybe synonymous with the hot seat? Like someone's in like, oh, they're in hot water or they're getting uh, questioned. Here's another guess. Maybe it's a, a high stakes game of uh, musical chairs. Uh, that's all I got. Shane got it right. Uh, it's when someone steps out of line and needs a punishment. So an example is, mm. oh my gosh, Ryan, you shouldn't say that. Electric chair. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> that seems like a lot. One more. One more. Last one, here we go. Say psych right now. That seems pretty self-explanatory. I've seen this one on the internet. Uh, say psych right now, I've seen this one. I assume it's like, whatever you've said is ludicrous, please tell me you're joking. Yeah. That's what I was going to assume as well. Because psych is not a new slang word. That's like old, that's like boomer slang right there, isn't it? I know. We should just bring back just straight up psych. Just like, psych is psych. <laughs> psych. Anyway, good segment. Brittany, thank you for running us through the ropes there. I don't know if we have a winner, it was sort of, across the board. I think Shane won. I think oh, this one's not Hey, you know. <laughs> I think Shane won. <laughs> oh, come on. That's fair. That about does it for the segment. Uh, but before we go, we have some Patreon shout outs, as we do every week now to dice them up a little bit more. A lot of other fun stuff over there. Got a fun Discord. Uh, Steven, take it away. I'll start us off with some of our monitors. Thank you, RDs. We got RDs. Rebecca Bolo, Bolu, Regan Sanders, Realicious. Yeah, Realicious. Re I think real -licious. I like Realicious. Realicious. Yeah. Spencer Kassar, Timothy Kism, and cool. Violet Matter, 43 FVS Frax? Frax? Very cool name. That, that sounds like a robot. Abby. And also Arisani. Thank you very much. Amelia O'Reilly, Amy Hart, Anime Nicole Smith, Anna T, Ashley Rigby, uh, Bean. Bean? Do you think Mr. Bean? I don't think it's Mr. Bean. <laughs> there is no Mr. Uh, Bella, Beth Griffiths, and Beth M.I. or Beth Michigan. I wonder if that's Beth Michigan. Michigan's a cool last name. BFU No Context, which are they, are they the people behind the Twitter account? If they're the people behind the Twitter account, good Twitter account. There's a, a uh, watcher no, con, no Context watcher as well. Carla Ross, Carolina Orajuela, uh, Catlin, Crystal Milligan, Danny Mercier, Mercier, if they're European, Dana Lefley, Dora123, Douglas Young, Elena Fry, and Elizabeth Jeffcoat. Jeffcoat is a cool Jeff, last Jeffcoat's name. Jeffcoat's cool too. So is Fry, so is Young, so is Dora123, but Jeffcoat. Thank you all for your continued support. Fun stuff over there at patreon.com slash watcher. Anything else before we go? 
Great new puppet history coming up this week. Vote, 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 vote! Check to make sure you're registered. Um, we'll see you next week, everybody. Bye! Adios. <laughs>